They found a slam dunk here in the Morgan's yard in Avon. The entire family, including Joey and their Schitt's Pool Westie mix, Mia, love being outdoors. Being from England, they weren't used to being driven inside at dusk by bugs. I come from a climate where there are very few mosquitoes, and we're a very active outdoor family. So you put those two together after six o'clock, you're not doing what you want to be doing. I want to be outside. We want to be playing games outside. We want to be reading outside. Richard Morgan says candles and zappers didn't work. He didn't want mosquitoes or ticks, but he didn't want a yard full of chemicals. These are all environmentally friendly chemicals that they use. We did a lot of research and they've been approved by the DEP. He found products he felt comfortable with from Guardian Pest Control. They were developed out of a need when company owner Fred Markowitz couldn't enjoy his own yard. My wife says, you own a pest control company, isn't there something you can do? Uh, so I, I researched it and I found a product and I found a method of uh, application that it, it really works. It's extremely safe. One product is something called Tall Star. It is considered to be a mild pesticide. It's applied to the edges of a yard where mosquitoes and ticks hide. It kills them and can last three or four weeks. The only limitation is after the material is applied, pets and kids have to stay out of the treated areas for about a half an hour. Some clients want an alternative. Then we have, uh, for people that are really chemically sensitive, um, eco-exempt product, which basically means it's not a pesticide, it's actually spearmint oil. That's right, spearmint oil. And Yukon dermatologist Megan McCusker says things like eucalyptus and soy work in natural insect sprays. She says even catnip repels some bugs. And actually to be 10 times stronger than DEET. So you can plant little catnip around your yard or you can use it in some of the herbal bug sprays that they now have available. One spray goes on clothing and tents. One of our sprays that we use is called permethrin and that is actually very effective against ticks and it's derived from the chrysanthemum plant. Finding different ways to enjoy the great outdoors. Lisa Carberg, NBC Connecticut News.